so these are for uh, are from the Rosh Hashanah carriage house. Carriage house, yeah. These are facing the north, facing the street on Madison Street. Cool. Second floor. Do you just want to like kind of talk through the process of of what you'll do what to restore them? Well, with the glass, these are the ones. That, the glass was broken here; it was already out. They had cut the glass over the whole thing, and I and the cut the glass. I took off. But what I'm going to do is clean all of this putty out for these, and I'm going to clean out all of the putty on all of these and take the glass out and then prime it, put the glass back. And on some of this where, where it's open a little bit, I'm going to squeeze it together and put dowel here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a, a pin here and I'm going to try to glue. You want to see some nice handy work from my... The key that holds this pot together. It's an interesting piece of um, very close, as you can see. A pen work the way they did it on the, the curves and the three pieces where these are oh, yeah, I think. And see what that is? It's yeah. called a key. And it's right there and it's and it's is driven that, in. What is that a piece of wood? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and but that's pinning this this piece is separate here. It's it's bringing this together. How does that go, how far or does that go through? Well, it's probably an inch, but it's on an angle. So when you drive it in, I've, I've replaced these and made them. And you, you drive them in and it pulls it together. If you, if you make it right, if you put it like an angle. When you drive it in, it squeezes it. Do you put epoxy in? I will now. I will put some glue in it. It never did before. Oh, they never did. No, and you could see that these move a little bit here, one more than the other. Like over here, you can see this is moving in, in that space there. This you is strong. The epoxy yeah. will solid that up. Yeah, well, yeah, I just made me wood glue and I may put, what I do with the dowels, I drill part way in, squirt some glue, and then when I drill the dowel, I pound the dowel in, it squirts the glue yeah. through the joint, so it really does it. Yeah, yeah, that's how you did first time. I did all of them, yeah, I have the, the dowel here, and I when I drill, I'll drill part way, and I'll put the dowel, squirt the glue in, drive, drive the dowel in, and then I have to cut it off, and then sand the whole thing. Yeah. But that's the, um, but what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to clean that up, and then I'm going to cut some glass for these, or maybe I might even break some of these trying to get out the old the glass too. I try to be careful, but it's, this, this is pretty good. I think this putty is pretty old and worn, and nobody's done too much to it. So it may be that we can clean it up pretty good. Maybe pretty quick. So how old do you think these windows are? Well, I guess the, um, that building, I don't know what the, um, the cabbage house, but the original house is 1831. You may be looking at 190 year old windows, somewhere in that range. They're in pretty good shape for 100. Yeah, and the wood is. Yeah, really. <laughs> it's amazing. That's what I said about the, the windows. Do you, think, the... do you think anyone's restored them in all that time? It's hard to tell. I, I don't see too much. I mean, they may have been, you know, years ago, people would go around anyway, like maintenance people, and as the putty would loosen up, you, you could do just a little bit of touch up, and when the painters would just touch up the putty. Um, but as far as actually restoration, I don't believe so. What kind of wood? Did I think most of it was cypress. That's that's what I use. This is a piece of cypress here. So that yeah. was a common window wood. That was a good wood. That uh, you know, cedar's too soft. Pine and fir and stuff. I don't believe would last. Maybe in those days it might, but the new one won't. And it's, it's one of those things that grow in the swamp, so it was resistant. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, true. I never thought about that. Well, that's like cedar. Cedar was better than pine yeah. and stuff, but it's uh, and so more the, resistant. The, the putty, is that something that you do on your own house? Like go around kind of every once in a while and, and check up on the putty? Like is that just when proper painting, maintenance? Yeah. Originally when I bought the house, I went around and, and did a lot of the windows over. Mm -hmm. and, and had there was a lot of broken glass because what happens when people would wash the windows and the, the bedding putty behind the glass, the last time I set it in, and if they pushed on it, 
when they were washing from either side, then they'd break the glass. And uh, so I went around and there's all these broken glass all over the place when we bought the house. And then I did make some pieces for these windows. But even when I painted last year on the other side, there was a couple of little places that the putty was loose. Mm -hmm. And I just changed the, a bed of putty on wherever and then we painted the windows over anyway. Mm -hmm. But that's normal maintenance on a wooden window is to re reglaze it and paint it. Right. But you know, if you if you do that every once in a while when it needs to be done, they'll last for, you know, hundred oh, plus years. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the paint job was almost fifteen years old on the other side. Mm -hmm. we, we had cleaned it almost bare and then primed it and then painted it two coats. And now we did the same thing. We primed it and painted it two coats, the whole south side. And I'm gonna do that to the front of the garage too. Would you would you mind um, scraping the putty from like one of the ones with the glass? And, and cut a piece of glass for you? You, want you don't to have to one? cut the glass, but just I think that it might be, I think that it might be daunting for people to think about, you know, scraping putty against glass, but it's really not a big deal, right? It, it is, there's all kinds of different putty. Some of it is hotter. This one here looks like it would be easy for somebody to do it. I think that might be a, it would look like really hard. There are some heating elements that would make the putty softer, mm -hmm. but you would have to be really careful is that they would crack the glass. If you were trying to save the glass, it's hard to use the heater. Right. So is that too low? specific to this or is that a ch just a chisel? Well, this is just a chisel. It's, it's a, um, a modesting chisel that I've been using for this. Do you size what? the chisel to the... No, no, it's just, I make it sharp. That's, yeah. the, that's the only thing, it's the size of it. It's basically, yeah, it works pretty well, but it's, the, it's how sharp it is. Yeah. Okay, let's... No, it's not a certain size. And then what do you do when you hit the glazing points? Well, I just flip them out. Like, okay. it, like once I find the point, I can kick it out. These are gone. Let me see, I took that out. We'll do this other one with it. It's coming out pretty easy on some of these. This, this is pretty good. There's some putty that's really hot. This yeah, I remember good. first that this was difficult to get it. It was, yeah. but, some of, but this was, I guess, pretty good so far. gentle with these they're so they're so thin it's not too much in between and then you have sometimes different things this is this is more on this side was a caulking it really wasn't a putty oh. but somebody had used probably might have changed a piece of glass over the or they just went along and put a piece of putty painters or somebody so are there um Storm windows on this building? No, there's no storm windows. Nice work. And that's true. Yeah. 
No breakage. And then that's, uh, everything seems to be pretty good. These are in good shape. We'll clean those up. What I do with those after is I have another little scraper. Just a regular sandpit scraper. And I would go along and clean out all of this stuff. And I'll make it funny any uh, points or whatever. I'm sure you're making it look much easier than it actually is because you've been doing it for a long time, but it's not, it's not that, that complicated, right? It's not complicated, but it, it could be uh, sometimes difficult because th this putty, I have to say, this is a little softer, at least that part. Some of that was like really hard. And when I, you know, I have to really press sometimes on the chisel to get it going. It's tedious mm -hmm. when you when you're doing a lot of them. Is it trickier to do the curves? Is it trickier to do the curves? Uh, not really. You know what it is up here. I think it's a harder putty, it never gets the weather because it's up in oh. like higher. Like at the lower part, when the water runs down, it gets into here. This is usually the easiest part, it's mm -hmm. the lower part. When you get to the part that doesn't get the weather, the putty lies long. Gotcha. But the curve is, the curve's easy. You just follow the, when your putty is easy. The glass is a little trickier to cut when it's broke, uh, with cutting the curve. That's a little harder. There isn't everybody that wants to take out all of the glass. Sometimes it's just putty and it's fine. To, but if the, if the bedding putty is dry and you don't take it out and put new bedding putty, then there's a possibility when somebody presses on the glass to clean it or whatever that they could crack because it's like a hollow. Mm -hmm. if, all, if, that, if that bedding putty is gone, the glass can't take much pressure. But it isn't always the case. I mean, if you it's done a while ago, that part doesn't wear out that fast. 